above, but we'll never be ready. Heathrich! Eivor! Have you dealt each with a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defences. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defences. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. This area is off limits. The castle keep looks impregnable. That will be Edwin's last stand. are large bolt casters. I must disable them. I could rig these cauldrons. This should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Giedrich to lead his men. I 
say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurd Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight. Now! You're a good man, Sigurd, and I'm thankful for all you've done. But without Eivor, I make no moves. We wait. Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of Hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I'm here to speak with Gietrich. Go on then, your master of aids. Still dreaming of your precious stone. It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions, prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to tear this day the Lord of Justice, the harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance read well. We are ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back.
You felled the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. You fought with honor and purpose. For that, I put you in Gidrich's care. You will see you're treated well. I will. So long as you recant your friendship with that pot of warm piss, King Alfred. Agreed. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you'll do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. Kings of the Ancient Ones, the Isu, the gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around, for who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I have passed through this doorway once before, with Sigurd, in a dream. Not once, a thousand times. A thousand? Does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... fogged, shadowed. And yet I... I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... I see the great tree of life, her boughs reaching... skyward, opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not till your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can deserve as Please, no. no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia 
and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl, I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. King Alfred, wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke, you with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll got you, troll woman! Tush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith that the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. All the gods bless him. What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenefordshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Fulke is with the Order of the Ancients. The same order cut.
The order that Bessem and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Giedrich. Giedrich is an honest man and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassem will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. I want to see the alliance map. So Chailbert has traveled to Shropshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, king of the Britons. Chailbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chailbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I'll make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I'll certainly be needed.
Interesting. Long now!
once knew a man, cleaned all the rats in London. He took his time. They loved him, and he loved them. They lived freely. We came to see him for a scrub. Rats have a certain freedom, but they feed on shit. It's a coward's freedom. A Valhall for the vanquished. Eivor, did you hear? The king will visit tomorrow. Sigurd will be with him. Father told me, but I cannot play too often with Sigurd. He always steals my stones and calls me Trolltooth. <laughs> I can think of one way to fluster him. Use all of these stones for your next cairn. He'll have none for himself. I could build the largest cairn he has ever seen. He would be so jealous. Take these. Make him smile. Yes. And did your father mention Gunnar's arm ring? No. Not that I remember. Speak with your father tonight. He has a special task for you.
not see you, old friend. Anomaly number seven, if I'm counting right. You are. Just a few more to go. Ten in total. Ten. Okay, I can do ten. Does the Animus give achievements for stuff like this? Sorry, does it what? Forget it. Are you there? Speak and tell me you live. I... 
I'm an engineer. These puzzles are child's play. Still, it's physical and mental. That can't be easy. That's true. I never had to swim through any fluid dynamics equations to solve them. I got the data. Sending it now.
great. Thank <laughs> you. 